Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video will be one of two uh, dealing with the M text or multi-line text of AutoCAD. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that the the M text really changed a lot in the AutoCAD version 2008. Uh, before that, uh, most people were using the single line text, which I don't teach in my courses. Everybody's pretty much moved to multi line text. But if you work on an older version of AutoCAD, understand that a lot of well, everything that I'm showing you here will not uh, relate to the older versions of AutoCAD. But anything newer, 2008 up till 2018, the M text will work uh, how I'm showing you, maybe different little settings. But it is a word processor, so if you have issues with it, ask someone that knows word processors, and they can probably help you without even knowing AutoCAD. Uh, it's right up here under your annotate. And as you can see, there's multi and single line. We're going to deal with multi-line text. And you notice up here, here's all the annotation, uh, different dimensions and stuff. But watch when I select multi-line text, it's asking me for a corner. It wants a box. Now, this box can be changed, so don't worry about it if it's too big or too small. I'm just going to click right here. And as you can see now, this is all turned to... Uh, a word processor uh, information. Here's your justifications. Uh, here's your formatting if you want to slant it, the width of it. Uh, if you want to underline it, make it bold. Here's your left justification, center justification, uh, and so on. Uh, but uh, again, it works like I'm just going to do it on left. And if I start typing here, Houston Community college in Houston, Texas. As you notice, it wrapped around, uh, let me, get that, uh, got kind of weird, Houston, Texas. Um, I teach AutoCAD at several locations. Now, one thing I, I wanted to point out is when you see uh, text that has little red lines under it, that's telling you that it's misspelled or it has it's thinking it's misspelled. All you have to do is just right click over it and at the very top it will give you suggestions. There's a whole bunch of other things here, but really I'm just wanting you to look at that. I can change it to several. And then, of course, AutoCAD, even though it is spelt right, if you right-click, it likes to uh, increase the CAD to uppercase. So I'll do that. When I'm done, I can either click outside the box or click Close Text Editor. Click here or just click outside the box, and now you see that the text is closed. If I select it with my grips, as you can see, I can change this box size to whatever I need it to be. So again, it doesn't matter what that is when you're typing it up. It only takes a second to come and fix that. Um, it's really just uh, so much easier to use. Uh, there's also a, uh, uh, when you'll notice with the text, there's a find and replace. If you just type in find, you can come over here and change uh, the word Houston and say that you want to put Harris county instead I go replace all okay and here at Harris County Community College in Harris County Texas so it, it can change that for you if you need to make a global change uh, one thing I do recommend for my students uh, is that if you need to do text at an angle I find that just doing it straight and then just going back to your rotate command picking your text and if you want it to be 90 degrees just select somewhere type 90 and there it is okay the nice feature that AutoCAD has done is when you have text like this watch what happens when I double click it to edit it it turns it square for you to read really nice thing I could say at several locations uh, including uh, SciFair Bissonette campuses 
And as you notice, it doesn't like Cypher, Bissonette, or Campus. I spelled that wrong. There's actually doesn't have anything for that, so I'll have to kind of fix it myself. Now, one thing also to remember is, say if I wanted this all to be underlined, if I go and select underline, nothing happens. You have to highlight whatever you want to change. If I wanted Harris County Community College to be underlined, I have to highlight it. I can underline it. And even if I want to come over here and make it twice as big, I could type 2. See, now it changes it. I click outside the box and there if I need to make it larger I can make it larger okay I will rotate it back just so we can kind of read it a little bit better and you know I can fix it up any way I want to if I wanted it to be where this is this is centered under that I would have to come here highlight all of this go centered and now you can see that it's been centered. So that's that's one of the big things to remember. Uh, but like I said, once you double click on it, it now opens up the editor box. And this is all, here's your symbols. If you want to add a flow line or a delta or an angle, uh, diameter, uh, you know, degrees, plus or minus, uh, you've got the symbols up there to do. Uh, I'm going to go into columns in the set next uh, uh, video, but you've got spell check. You can create a, you can make your dictionary by adding words to it, so it won't pick them up. Say like Cypher and Bissonnet. You know, I could go to to the right click and go add to dictionary, and I can right click on Bissonnet and say add to dictionary. That way, when I type it up again. You notice it doesn't highlight, it doesn't give the red because now, so you can build your own dictionary, which is really, really nice. Just make sure it is spelled correctly. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, again, it is a basic word processor. Uh, you can change styles. If I wanted to come over here, I can highlight Houston or Harris County Community College. And if I wanted to change it to this one, notice how it's changing. I could come down here and go to this one. I could go to this one, uh, uh, so you know it's. But unfortunately, it does change all of them uh, when it does in in M text. So uh, you know you've got over strikes. You could you could have it strike through that if you want it to. And again, most of this you're used to in doing uh, Word. If I come down here and I change this back to left, justified right up here I can go to bullets and numbering say I just want to have it uh, numbered well there's that I could just type some things see and click outside and again it's got the bullets on there uh, for me to the uh, numbering system so uh, there's just different ways to work with it but again this is all one thing okay I'm moving it around but whenever you double click on it that's when it opens up the box. You've got your tabs up here, your your indexes, your margins. You can you know you can set things. Uh, let me see if I, see I can move that margin, I can move that margin, and so on. So again, very helpful tool. It's changed a lot over the years, but uh, M Text is is the way to go now. And that concludes this video, first video on M Text. Thank you.